Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we have another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM, how self-explanatory is that? Uh, we've got 25 songs I wanted to talk about this week, as always there is a song link down below in the Spotify playlist if that's what you use to find all the songs easily, if you want to go there, but uh, let's hop into it with the bad category, songs that I thought were bad, just remember this is just my opinion, don't take them as gospel truth. Uh, we've got Timmy Trumpet with My Home, uh, Timmy Trumpet trying to uh, yeah take a run at uplifting progressive house and just sounds so fake uh, the vocals are poor the mixing is flat the melody is every prog house song ever but that's it for songs i thought were bad this week actually uh and so we're moving into the meh category now songs that i thought were just meh maybe you like them more than me uh, we've got thirst with kings of the block the after hours mixtape is out now by thirst it is 20 songs and 35 minutes long um which means uh, every song is really short uh, and this one is just 72 seconds and honestly i think is really unnecessary as a track um i don't really think these tracks are meant to be listened to individually because they are kind of just boring and move on way too quickly within a vacuum and i think they're meant to be listened holistically as a mixtape but uh, individually just thought the song was meh then we've got Tiesto, Lucas and Steve, and Silent Child with Zenless. It's a big room main stage track with a really awkward melody uh, that is gone in the first half and then has this kind of stutter in on the second. It just feels awkward to dance to, and that's sort of the point of this track. And so when your point is to dance and when it's a little weird, it doesn't really work. Then we got Mazare and Story Untold with the Losers Club. The Losers Club EP is out now by Mazare, and this is a DNB pop rock fusion that leans heavily into more pop rock than it does DNB. Uh, the production is fairly lighthearted uh, for how down the lyricisms uh, the lyricism is here, and I kind of just thought the mixing was pretty flat and definitely geared towards that more pop rock crowd than uh, drum and bass crowd. I would say. Then we've got Goodfella and Bipolar Sunshine with Feel This Way. Uh, Deep House, that is very much typical Deep House. Nothing super exciting or invigorating. It's kind of just Deep House. Then we've got Nostalgix featuring Myla Falls with Don't Keep Me Waiting, a bass house tune that has just a wall of sound um, that is ever present with those kind of bass line sustains. Um, the melody here is uh, very much Nostalgix kind of classic synth sound, um, but just kind of neutered and a little bit more flat. Um, overall, the song just wasn't that exciting for me. Then we got Don Diablo with Sexy Back, uh, a future house remix of a beloved original in a time where uh, Justin Timberlake isn't the most loved uh, celebrity musician. Uh, all that being said, I expected to hate this because I kind of hate these covers versions of just really popular songs, but um, I kind of didn't mind it. Um, it's not too bad. Don Diablo, Don Diablo changed up the core sound enough for this to be decent and feel like its own individual track. So uh, not too bad. Then we've got Drove featuring Boo Sika with Ready For Us, a driven house track that is very much up Drove's alley uh, in terms of sound design and style. It's fine. It works. It's not overly impressive to me. Then we are moving into the good category, songs that I thought were pretty good. Uh, we've got Blue Claire with Places, um, Funky Deep House with some of Blue Claire's signature sound design. Um, it's meant for the club. It's meant to get you grooving, and it's great at doing both. Then we've got Leo Tricks with original Spice Blade Magic. That's quite the title from the new Sounds of Mayhem, the Uprising 3 compilation. Um, and damn, this thing is dark and abrasive as hell. Um, in fact, it actually sounds like you're kind of being sung into the descents of hell as you're going down, I guess, Dante's Inferno of sorts or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, this is far from a typical listen for me and far from a kind of track that I would jam to a whole ton. But boy, this thing bangs and it works quite well. So I enjoyed it. Uh, and then we've got Amnes featuring Barking Continues. Speak of barking when the dog wanted up, but um, with the new track Moth. Um, Amnes, most kind of, I would say, simplistic track to date with a steady trap beat and deep vocals. Um, I love the tone and atmosphere of the track. It just doesn't go as big as I feel like I wanted it to. Then we got Vest Green with Lullaby, heavy hitting dubstep that morphs into a really fun, kind of soft, happy, hardcore final movement. Um, it's relatively simple, but I would say an engaging track at the end of it all. Then we got Reaper with uh, featuring Stace Cadet with Seconds, another big energy high velocity DNB tune from Reaper that is solid, but again, it very much just sounds like the rest of Reaper's discography. So I would love some more variation. Then we got Tasaki with Turn Me Up, some classic bouncy trap from Tasaki on the first half here with a real twist of a hard style back half with that really, really forceful kick. Um, I either wish that final hard style movement was expanded upon or removed for more trap um, because it just felt like it was a little incomplete, um, that section in particular, but I liked the rest of the song quite a bit. 
Then we got Drinks on Me and South by with There for You. Uh, Drinks on Me is continuing his kind of current trend of these really intimate and personal narratives in his tracks. Um, but yeah, otherwise the track is kind of a garage house tune with lots of vocal chops and a steady driving beat um, that is very much a kind of Drinks on Me style. Then we've got Nettie with Snippet of Clarity from the new Sleep Deprived EP. A uh, really calming liquid drum and bass with a digital twist to it. It's simplistic. It's mixed well. I think it's a great song. If you're into the more kind of underground style of um, DNB or that kind of tones, I think you'd like this new one from Eddie. Nettie. <laughs> Then we've got Zed's Dead, Moody Good, and Killa P with Mad Ting. Uh, a dark trap sound design with a very full sounding bass line and constant rapping from Killa P. Um, it's a track that's quite stylized for the underground scenes, kind of meant to be listened to in the kind of darker, real dimly lit club settings, and uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Then we've got Louis the Child and Laswo, or Lays, I don't even want to say that, Laswool, I think it's how you say it, and Pluko with Slow. Uh, the sixth single from Louis the Child's upcoming record, and it's a simple future-based tune that's very vocal forward. Um, definitely one of the more poppy cuts from what will be this uh, LP at some point, but I love the vibe, love the vocals, and I think it's a great tune. Then we got Justin Gent and Nev with Open Spaces, the VIP brilliant remix that does the right amount of playful vocal chops and stuttering the melody to make it unique, but still very much keeping that core original sound intact. Um, the bounciness of this track was also a very welcome surprise. Uh, the vocals were great as always. I'm not sure if they were re-recorded -re or not for this, but um, yeah, it's a great song. Love it. Big fan. Justin Gent is great. Then we got Slippy and Rebel Scum featuring Medic with Don't Go. Intense dance floor drum and bass that leans into drum step kind of here and there. But uh, the the kind of longer intro and outro movements really keep that, uh, that core tone alive and helps kind of prime you up and ready you for the drop sections um, that eventually come later. It's a bit of a longer song, I think, just under five minutes and um, one that I think worked really, really well and a style that I haven't heard a ton from Slippy as of late. And so I really enjoyed it. Then we got Trivecta featuring Casey Cook with Alaska. As of late, I hadn't been really digging Trivecta's newer sound and style, but this is a nostalgic return to form for me. Uh, Casey Cook's vocals perfectly pair with um, Trivecta's melodic dubstep production that sounds more like prime mellow dub from like 2015 than it does 2024's mellow dub. I mean, he now has a bro step-ish kind of final movement, and I really enjoyed it. So way to go, Trivecta. I heard there's a new project coming out, and I'm excited for that one. Then we got Yatep, Manila Killer, and George Gleason with Leo, or Flickr. Uh, an exclusively kind of uh, commercial house style track that I haven't heard in a while and actually really missed. A very like meant for the radio kind of commercial progressive style house. Um, it's more grand and fantastical than most of the out other house tracks out there. And it kind of feels like old 2010s to me and I'm loving it. It kind of hit that nostalgia bone for me. There's a lot of tracks did this week, actually. So then we've got Andrew Bayer and Oliver Smith with Rude Boys, a huge surprise of a track stylistically um, and very counter to the typical Andrew Bayer that I feel like I've known up to this point. Um, it's loud. It's got big distorted synth melodies. It's like kind of this um, high energy reminds me a lot of big room electro. Um, again, another one that kind of takes me back to an older time that um, they just kind of ruled the scene kind of like a Dada life, early Dada lifestyle. So um, one that I did not expect to enjoy as much as I did, and I loved it. Then we got Dead Mouse with Quetzalcoatl. Uh, this is just a kind of classic Dead Mouse song in all facets. It's seven minutes in runtime. It's progressive house. It's got a tinge of electro to it. Um, it's got this uh, structure that keeps building and building upon itself. This is just prime time classic Dead Mouse, and it is fantastic. Then we've got Night Punk and John Casey with Set the Flow as the final track of the week. Um, yeah, a hybrid trap and kind of break beat fusion uh, is kind of what you would expect from a Night Punk and John Casey collab, and it is great. Um, this song hits hard with massively distorted synth melodies and um, has this also just nasty bass line that is just there and there and there, and well, you can't escape from it in a good way. Um, everything about this track is thick, meaty, heavy, and explosive, and I loved it. Way to go, Night Punk. Way to go, John Casey. But uh, That's been all I've had to say. All the songs I wanted to talk about this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any of those songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Botet Media, and I will see you guys in another video.